Hi everybody. I'm always on the lookout for a Bluetooth speaker that does things just a little bit differently. And uh, I think I found one. This is the light speaker from Mi Audio. It's a camping speaker with a built-in lantern. Okay, you might dismiss this speaker lantern combo as a gimmick, but that would be a mistake. This device has two 48 millimeter drivers for a total of 20 watts RMS power, and it sounds really good. From the very first song I experienced on this speaker, I was ready to declare it as the best camping speaker of all time. The highs were so crisp and the mids were so well represented and the bass was vibrating my hand. I was listening to James Taylor's Fire and Rain and I seriously heard things on this speaker that I haven't heard from any other device. That double bass was delicious. And while it's not unusual for a song to remind me of another time and place, when I heard Elton John's Tiny Dancer come over this thing, I immediately was transported to that bus in Almost Famous where the entire band was singing along with the song. It was amazing. This speaker has three audio modes, dynamic, bass boost, and vocal boost. And I was listening to this on just the regular dynamic setting. You just don't hear bass this exquisite coming from a speaker of this size. I switched over to classical music because I wanted to experience what that would be like. I listened to the William Tell Overture, Flight of the Bumblebee, uh, the theme song from 2001 Space Odyssey. And then I thought, well, how much bass can I get out of this thing? So I switched over to Techmaster PEB and I found the weakness. The light speaker desperately wants to play any song you throw at it but it just cannot handle the deep, deep, deep bass. When I asked it to play Techmaster PEB, I could hear that subwoofer slapping the cage, and if I let it, this speaker would literally destroy itself in the attempt. But if hip hop and techno aren't your thing, then don't shy away from this speaker because it sounds fantastic for most genres. If you have seen my reviews before, you probably know how much I despise multi-purpose controls. Single press, double press, long press, mm, I can't stand it. However, take a look at the controls on the light speaker. Every button is labeled. Every function has a key right on the top of the device. And the volume knob is in the middle, separate from track control. If you have to have multi-purpose controls, this is the way you do it. When it comes to the battery, I would say that it is acceptable, but not exceptional. It takes about four hours to charge. You will get up to 12 hours of play on this speaker. However, if you use this as a lantern, cut that in half. If you use this as a lantern only, you'll get between nine and 20 hours of it, depending upon brightness. I didn't see this mentioned in the manual anywhere, but this appears to be a threaded mounting port. Behind this panel, you have the usual USB-C charging port, which also serves as your power bank port. USB memory stick port, which supports uh, APE, FLAC, WAVE, and MP3, and your 3.5mm auxiliary input port. I'm not sure if you would want to, but I think with a pair of pliers, you could unscrew this handle and remove it completely. The light speaker is IPX6 water resistant. Don't throw this in the water, but it should be okay in the rain. If you have two of these, the light speaker does support stereo pairing, which I think would sound phenomenal. The 360 degree speaker design sounds fantastic with just one speaker. With two, I think it would be exceptional. How do I rate the Mi Audio light speaker? Look, I don't sleep anywhere that doesn't have a bed and a bathroom. But if I did go camping, this is the speaker I would want to bring with me. No, you're not going to get subwoofer bass out of it, but for every other kind of music, this sounds amazing. Four out of five stars. Thanks for stopping by.